window chick here and this is unturned i've had this game for a while when it first came out i had it and played it for ages but then got bored of it because there was nothing to do it then got a load of updates and i thought i'd share this with you um it's a very good game actually I'm, i've been playing it again recently i'm really enjoying it so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to washington we're going to play a normal uh no cheats or anything like that and we're gonna click play so let's jump into here and hopefully not die because i'm very good at dying so here i am that's me and i'm a little bit naked so yeah let's go i've never played this map to be honest with you so i don't really know where anything is and you don't spawn with a map anymore you don't have anything you have to find it in game so hopefully we won't die just yet and we'll find a uh, a map or some clothes at least so it looks like there's a farm here let's see if we can punch <coughs> this dude to death <coughs> oh, no stop hitting me Come back. Oh, you, you proper. You did it again. You duped me. Okay, let's take that out of our hands. Okay. Should we go for this guy next? Now, it is another survival game, but as my name suggests, Nimble Chick Survives, I am a survival expert, so I shouldn't die too much. Maybe. Now, this game has had a lot of updates and the zombies are a lot harder than they used to be. And look at that, we're down to 34% health already. Dang it. And nobody's dropped anything useful. Let's avoid him and sneak past. See if we can get into here. Oh, baby, a crossbow. This is... Just a little trivia for you. I am a lady who loves bows and crossbows. In all games, it is one of my favourite weapons. Oh, nice. And it comes with an arrow pre-installed. Nice. Dude, oh, there it is. Thank you. So, yeah, this is unturned. It's made by a... He's probably a little bit older now, but when it came out, he was 16, so he's probably about 17, 18 now. He, I think the story goes he was doing it for a school project or something like that. But it is a very good addicting, addictive game. I would suggest you get it. I, It's free to download, free to play, but you can, if you wish, support him by donating $5, I think. Or oh, five pounds or something like that. I'm not too sure. Let's kill this guy here. Okay. I hope there's no runners around here. Dang it. There's one right there. Got him. Okay. Now we kind of need food. Oh, chainsaw baby. Chainsaws are awesome. Uh, hats, farmer bottoms. So if you've never played this game, you can basically wear these sort of things. Have I got any clothes on? Yes, I do. Oh, I have farmer bottoms on. They have like a durability, so these are down to 74%, so we may as well swap them. And what you can do is you can tear these down. You can either click here, if you right click on them, click salvage. If you go to your crafting menu, go to the little like t-shirts and tear them down into cloth. Then you can make bandages, like so. So this is all like your crafting stuff. You learn more as you find like ingredients and stuff like that you've also got skills which you can 
you get experience with killing and doing like harvesting plants and cutting down trees but mostly killing the zombies so we can like we can like how many we've got we can bump up our healing so we use healing items it makes basically makes the bandages more effective is the best way to describe it so we're gonna oh, carrot what's that kitchen knife no food are you serious just a moldy carrot let's pick up everything we can because we can always break it down if we don't need it we haven't got enough room okay so let's have a look okay so the farm top is a lot better now you can repair oops let's pick them up you can repair your clothing so if i was to take my no let's put that on take that off and let's drop them come on okay we can repair it with the cloth that we got I think it does get damaged when zombies attack you so it is worth keeping an eye on so there's a fedora here we're gonna salvage that as well and then let's craft some rags and then make a bandage and then I think we have enough for another bandage no we don't so I think it's two cloths for a rag two rags for a bandage two bandages for a dressy I think is how it goes fairly certain anyway so yeah this house was a bit of a boss there really wasn't much in here uh, there's no body there but we have got a vehicle so let's kill this dude here oh I didn't reload This game is very addictive. Oh, quad bike, nice. I think we've pretty much killed everybody around here. Let's just sneak around so we don't get. Uh, we have here. So that's in the number two slot already. Let's. Oh, a planter, nice. So we can grow crops if we're not on. Go away. Thank you. If we're not on like a grasslands we can don't think we need these kinds of things I'll take it anyway it's probably a decent melee weapon for beginning with can I have them so you can rotate things in your inventory to make more space it's kind of like a a mini game of like uh what's it called my mum loves it like tetris sort of thing it's kind of quite fun so let's jump on this quad bike and get out of here now it is a little loud so i'm sorry about that go backwards go backwards yeah okay 34% gas that's not too bad so left or right let's go right left even okay what's that ah a little airplane strip let's jump off what's that oh a metal bar cool a uh, sledgehammer that is actually a really good weapon let's break that down let's break that down as well because we don't need them now that we've got a sledgehammer and a work light nice so when we if, if we find a generator we can have light at our base of operations it's a nice little airplane i'm not going to get in it because i can't fly them i don't i haven't flied any yet so we'll try that at some other point. <laughs> so let's 
come down here. It looks like it's a little village. What we'll do is we'll just pull over, take out our crossbow, and let's go take these guys out. We really need food and water is our main priority. Uh, pre preferably not moldy stuff because hang on there we go okay so let me just quickly show you oh I can't um, in the bottom left hand corner you've got your health which is at 60% for me your food your water then you've got your radiation level I think it's radiation stamina and oxygen if your sort of radiation goes below sort of uh, I think it's 50% you start it doesn't uh, how can I explain it at the minute it's sort of staying still but you'll get more and more poisoned as you go on and when it gets down to zero you then start losing health and will eventually die so it's best to not do that you can get what uh what are they called like antibiotics and vitamins and all that good stuff oh golf club now you can why can't i pick that up oh yeah okay salvage now the reason we're doing this is because we can get we can end up like repairing stuff if we eventually get oh sugar oh dear okay we're really damaged let's use that one i mustn't have hit him quite right in the head okay let's check these Oh, decent slice of bread, not bad. Okay, nothing in them. So I think that's pretty much it. What's that? Mechanic bottoms. We'll leave them because we haven't got any space anyway. Let's take this guy out nice one shot kill is obviously better than not let's take that guy out oh we dropped some duct tape for us nobody heard that nope now that guy there on the bed is a runner if they're bent over like that they're kind of dangerous and you should probably stay clear let's repair that so you need seven scrap metal and there we go and then we can pick that up now can we and these are very fast you want to take them out in one hit if you can they're very dangerous very fast and quite deadly they seem to hit quite hard nice oh a gun a gun that's good 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 stuff hey give me my arrow what don't i need here so we've got quite a collection of stuff i'm actually gonna salvage that we don't need it let's move that up there and get my arrow back we don't need a hammer but we do want the gun so let's have a look at our inventory a flashlight we could use a flashlight if i'm being honest so we won't what's our food at Oh, our toxic, we're quite toxic, is the problem. Let's see, let's see. Can we make a bandage? We sure can. Can I move that up there? 
Can we now make a dressing? We sure can. Nicely done. There we go. Is there a dude in here? Nope. There is a tomato, which is good because it does replenish both food and water. It is quite rubbish though. Let's eat that. We're at 52%. If we eat anything else, if we go below 50, I think it is, it will start to drop on its own. It doesn't look like it's dropping at the minute, so that's quite good. Oh, apple juice. Yay. Give me the apple juice, dude. We don't need glue right now. I don't actually know what you use glue for. To be totally honest, so we'll just get rid of that for now. Oh, look at him with his nice hat. <coughs> I don't know why that wouldn't... Oh, a baseball bat. Interesting. All this stuff, we can't carry it all. We need a backpack. So let's see what we've got. We've got plenty of stuff for now, I think. I think what we'll do is we shall grab the arrow back. Let's reload that. Pick them back up. Oh, another arrow. I could do with that, dude. Can I... Let's drop that. Put that in there, go to crafting, and then fix it up. And then... Uh, can we fix anything else? Can we drop that? Oops. And then fix the flashlight? Yeah. There we go. Flares are handy to keep a hold of. Purely because... Let's see if we can just, yeah, we can just run now. If you get into a bit of a tricky situation, what's that? Oh, a f green flag. Yeah, if you get into a bit of a tricky situation, there's a few zombies and you need to get past them without getting attacked, you can just throw it and they will go towards it, hopefully. So let's go back to that. I think we should live in the barn for now. I think. Should we or should we just stay here at the airport? There doesn't seem to be any zombies spawning at the airport. Let's stay here. Okay, let's park up. Okay, jump off. Nice. So we'll just come back here what we'll do is we'll get this planter it's basically like a plant pot put it down and we're going to start growing some food because we are in dire need of food uh equip corn again So if you have like a tomato, like I do here, I can right click on it and turn it into a seed, which I'm going to do for now. We've got bread. You can't turn that back into wheat, unfortunately. Now, what else do we have? So we have actually got some pretty good loot here, considering it's our first day. We could do with a blowtorch so we could repair this. What's that for? A cult, that's an ace, I think. Yeah. Let's equip that. We're going to put it down for now. Oh, wrong way. You can repair, uh, salvage things, pick them back up. If you put them in the wrong spot. However, if they're damaged, you can't. Uh, it no longer becomes salvageable. You just get... Well, you can still salvage it, but it's... You don't get the actual item, you get the stuff that you made it with back. So, that's not a bad haul for the first run. I'm thinking what we might do is 
leave that there let's grab some wood this is going to be noisy so i do apologize you see at the bottom there we've got four experience for that which is quite cool now one thing to note do not die on top of them if you die on top of them your stuff will be underneath it and you'll be screwed unfortunately do you know what look at our toxicity level like our radiation level sorry we're dying so let's actually what don't we need we didn't get any sticks that was rubbish let's see can we make anything at all nothing good we need a lot of sticks unfortunately to make like a box let's see so i think we're going to end up dying which isn't great okay um let's do 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 what can i do what can i do nothing let's try and run into town oh wait that's what i can do let's drop everything throw 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 pick that up unfortunately i know it's pretty good stuff but let's salvage it i don't think it's going to be enough unfortunately salvage Let's see, can we make a bed? Let's have a look for bag. No. Sleep. Oh. Uh, what are they called? Dang it. I'm sure it's a sleeping bag. Oh, what are they called? Oh, bedroll. Oh, you need nine? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's run over this way. Unfortunately, I think we're going to die. <laughs> and... That ain't good. Let me just quickly bandage our health is at 45% if we kill some guys get enough stuff for a bedroll oh there's a well there that's quite cool Dude, you didn't drop anything. <gasps> Compound bow. Oh, reload, dude. Come on. Oh, dang it. Hi. You can run backwards, luckily. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Dang it. Arrows galore. Oh, is that pants? Let's use that. Come on, dude. Salvage. Uh, snapshot magazines, cloth, rope. We don't need that. We'll take them in case we find another gun. Uh, but we need to focus on actually getting some cloth. Is there anything in here? Yes. Is 
might be enough to make a bedroll so we can at least come back and get all of our stuff. Now, if it can't fit in your inventory, you just click R to... Let's go in. Oh, no, not quite enough yet. Uh, do you know what? Drop it. It's fine. Have we got... Dang it, we haven't got enough stuff to keep us alive for much longer. Oh my gosh, do you know what? That made me jump. <laughs> okay, we were mauled by a zombie. Let's respawn. Where are we? I have no idea. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, leave a like. It helps me out a bunch. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.